I was like, ugh, this is going to be horrible. Hey there, my natural hair queens and kings. So welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be reviewing the new Palmer's Coconut Butter and Biotin line. I actually received it in the August Curl Box. And depending on when I put out this video, it may be in stores, it may not be in stores. So we just will see. All right, so let's just take a moment to appreciate these curls from Tropical Bliss. But anyway, we're getting into the video. I will be starting with their shampoo, and I'm trying something different today by washing my hair in the shower. So just let me know if you guys like this or not in the comments, yeah. Anyone who has a vanity planet, you know the satisfaction you get from this scalp massager. It's amazing. So now that I've shampooed my hair, as you can see, my hair is completely tangled. It was a hot mess i don't even know how to describe this this is me just praying that god gives me strength to deal with the aftermath of this shampoo so now i'm going in with their conditioner and as you see i have to use a lot because yeah my hair is a disaster from the shampoo and i am just going to go ahead and detangle my hair this did take me a while to do so i'm just going to show you the back and the front I'm not going to put you through all the torture that i went through just to detangle my hair Y'all, this scent is not it. Everything about detangling my hair was a disaster. And as you can see, after all that time that I spent detangling my hair, my hair is still not fully detangled because the clip got stuck in my hair. And I was like, at this point, I am so over this. So now I'm going to go ahead and wash this out. As you can see, it was quite messy because I had so much conditioner. But despite all that that I went through, my hair is really shiny from the conditioner. But we have all this shedding and I was back to being frustrated. So I've washed out the conditioner and I'm going in with their styling products. I'll use their leave-in conditioner first and then I will be using their cream styler. I will let you know at the end of the video what I think about these stylers so make sure you stay tuned until the end. Alright, so here's a close-up of my hair wet and now I'm going in with their Shine Glaze Serum to give my hair a bit more shine. I'm just using a little oil. I didn't want to get carried away with this at all. Right, time for you guys to see the final product. I will be shaking up my hair and then we'll jump into the review. So my bangs refuse to cooperate so I will be rocking a side part. It took a bit of manipulation for me to get the look that I was going for but in the end I got there even though it took me a bit of time. So you know how they say first impressions are the most important? Well let's just say this product did not make a good first impression but it's starting to grow on me a bit so i don't know how to feel i will just go ahead and tell you guys what i like what i dislike about this product because i started off completely hating it and i was like this is gonna be a disaster of a wash day but this is i guess a pure example of how you have to give products a chance to make a good impression so let's just jump right into it all right so the first product that i got was the shampoo and the whole entire line is actually for length retention this shampoo says that it's a gentle moisturizing cleanser um i have to say that's a lie because this shampoo completely stretched my hair and i had a hell of a time trying to even detangle it with the conditioner so i honestly don't know what to say about the shampoo except that it was just a no for me it just was too stripping so yeah the shampoo i would say use at your own risk i personally just 
it was just way too much for my hair and it made wash day way longer than it needed to be so i have the conditioner which is the second product i'm going to show y'all how much of the conditioner i used in the first go around before i tell you what i thought about this conditioner so this is the bottle the bottle is 12 fluid ounces which is really good it's a big size bottle but the amount of conditioner that i had to use let me just show y'all so this was full all the way up here and i don't know if you can see but this is where it is right now after just one use of the conditioner this conditioner had zero slip and after using a shampoo that was so stripping of my hair it was kind of discouraging to use a conditioner that didn't do anything to detangle my hair after the mess that the shampoo had created and so it took me a minute more than a minute to detangle my hair and i got super frustrated with it but what i can say is that this conditioner added immense shine like the shine that i saw on my hair after i finished this conditioner was amazing i was like okay so maybe it's not a conditioner that's for slip but it is really good at adding shine to my hair so i was like okay maybe it's not that bad i just know going forward if i use the product again that i would have to pre-poo with a conditioner that has slip to just detangle my hair like i say if you want a conditioner that's for slip this isn't for you but if you do want a conditioner that adds shine then this is the conditioner for you all right next we have their leave-in conditioner and if you've been following me for a while you know i'm not really a fan of leave-in conditioners that are sprays mainly because i just like to put my hand in a product and put it on my hair i just feel like the leave-in conditioners that are sprays are just harder to apply to my hair also i just feel like i make a mess i spray my face i spray my neck everywhere but my hair so me personally i don't like the leave-in that's a spray this leave-in also added shine to my hair and i wasn't mad at it however what i found with the entire line is that it wasn't the best at detangling my hair even after i had used all that conditioner to detangle my hair still had tangles when i was styling my hair and that was another frustrating part about it i would be you know combing my hair through with the leave-in and the next styling product but i would still be getting knots so i honestly was like on the fence with this it's not a bad product like i say if you like spray leave-in conditioners and you want something that will add shine to your hair this is a good one for that then we have the cream styler this one is for coil definition this one is super super thick if you're a person that you like thick consistency products you would love this product because of the consistency of the product i also could say that this added definition but one thing that i did notice was that after my washing day my curl pattern was completely different than what it usually is my hair looks more wavy as opposed to curly but when it dried I started to see the definition coming through. As you can see, my hair is super defined and super shiny, which I have to say I'm shocked of. This is actually day two hair, and I can't be mad at it. It looks really, really good. And then lastly, I use their Shine Glaze Serum. It says to lock in moisture and add shine to finish dry hair. I actually applied it on wet hair, and I like this. This was actually shocking to me that I liked it. It was a lightweight oil that i just poured a little in my hand and just spread it over my hair i don't know if this was the reason why i have so much shine right now but honestly i can't be mad at this product at all i am not usually an oil user but this one i'm actually here for it so i was not mad at this product i have no complaints about this product this was a really good product all right so overall when i first tried this product i was like Ugh. This is going to be horrible because let's just start with the scent. It, it says that the product is cocoa butter. There's no lie about that. The scent of this product is legit cocoa butter. Just how cocoa butter smells, that's how this product smells. The scent was way, way, way too much for me. I washed my hair and just dealing with the scent was just too much. And then after I put my hair up and I took it down off the pineapple with sleeping the scent hit me as soon as I took off my head scarf and I was like hmm this is just too much the scent I'm just gonna tell you I did not like it it was not for me if you love the scent of cocoa butter you will love this but me I did not at all like the scent that was one of the first things that turned me off from the product 
And then for first day curls, usually when I do wash day the first day, I wear my hair out because I want to see how it is. But when I took down, my hair was a bit stiff. So I couldn't figure out how my hair was going to fall. I had a hard time manipulating it to fall because I usually wear my bangs and it just it was not working. So I decided to go with a head wrap because I just could not figure it out. But my hair was super shiny in the head wraps. So yeah, there are a lot of pros and cons to this line. I think that honestly, each individual person has to try this line to see how they feel because some people may like the scent, it just depends. But honestly, what I can say is I am really impressed on the second day curls. The products have amazing hold for just styling products, not using gel. My hair looks like it's gonna last for the whole entire week and I am actually super happy with that. My hair is defying, it's actually soft. So like all the stuff that you're looking for in your styling products, you will get that. However, the shampoo and conditioner is a bit questionable. The shampoo, I just, don't have anything to say about it the conditioner does add shine but like i say it will not detangle your hair so you would have to use something else so yeah i know this review is kind of all over the place because honestly i'm still trying to figure out how i feel about it and i just i don't know if i'm gonna use the line again but the end products look really good it's just the process to get there was a bit much so usually at the end of my videos i give a favorite but i don't know how to Give you a favorite because I still don't know how to feel. So I would say try the ones that you think will work for your, for your hair and then go from that. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you do try it, let me know what you think of my hair and the final product. And then let me know what you think overall about the line. Just let me know in the comments. If you have any questions about this video, leave them below in the comments and don't forget to hit that red button so that you don't miss any of my future videos. And until next time, my natural hair queens and kings, when you know better, you do better. Bye.